What up Epic Readers, I'm Jesse from the YouTube channel Jesse the Reader and today I'm bringing you another episode of Epic Adaptations, the series here on Epic Reads where we keep you in the know on all the recent YA book to movie and book to TV adaptation news. November, I'm not gonna lie, was a bit of a sad month for book to movie adaptation news. I'm afraid we're entering another book to movie adaptation drought. I'm hoping that in December we'll be gifted with adaptation news galore, but I guess I'll take what we got this month. Let's dive into the news. First up, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes has wrapped filming. We got a few photos from the Set shared by some of the actors on the film, hinting at what's to come with this film, but also not giving us too much detail. We don't have a set date yet for when we're going to be getting this adaptation, but I would imagine that we're going to be getting it in 2023. That's my prediction. You know what? Let's play a little game. I'm going to predict right now, and then we'll reference this video in an upcoming episode to see if I was correct once we get the final set date for this. I'm going to say September 2023. That's when I imagine we'll be getting this film. Drop your predictions down below in the comments. I'm personally just eager to see a trailer for this movie. I feel like it'll be a while before we actually get a full-fledged trailer, but I just want to see what the visuals for this film is going to be like and if they added up to what the visuals were like in my head. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever had a book where the movie adaptation for it matched your visuals for it. I'd have to say that overall the Hunger Games trilogy matched up pretty well with my overall vision for that series. So that's kind of why I'm eager to see if the visuals for this match up to the ones in my head. Next up, A Crown of Wishes by Roshni Chakshi has been picked up to be adapted into a series by Disney+. Plus. This is the second book in a duology and it came out around 2018. And the thing that I find the most fascinating about this being picked up to be adapted is that they're not picking up the first book to adapt it, they're picking up the second book in the duology. Now this is kind of a companion series. The second book in this duology isn't necessarily a direct sequel, it's more in the companion lane. It makes references to the first book and has character crossovers. But I just found it interesting that they picked up the second book to adapt it rather than the first book. A Crown of Wishes is a YA fantasy rooted in Hindu mythology. We follow Princess Gori, who ends up imprisoned after a failed siege on her brother, who is the king of Bharata and she disagrees with him on a lot of things. The princess ends up finding herself involved in the Tournament of Wishes, and she hopes to win because the winner gets a wish and she wants to help save her kingdom. We already have major casting news for this adaptation, which gets me excited, but Avantika will be taking on the role of the princess in the film. The fact that we already have a lead for this adaptation and it was just recently announced has me really excited because I feel like that means the wheels are turning pretty quickly with this adaptation. Hopefully we'll have more updates on this one in the coming months, but for now that's all we know. We finally have updates for casting leads for I Wish You All the Best. I knew it was coming. I mentioned this recently. I was like, I bet we're going to be getting major casting news soon for this one and here it is. We finally have it. Can I get a drum roll please? I have no drums. I, I have books. I can give you a book roll. Corey Fogelmanis will be taking on the lead role of Finn. Lamalas Gutere Riley will be taking on the role of Nathan. I honestly feel like these two actors look so much like the characters on the cover of I Wish You Well the Best. So I just feel like they did a perfect job with the casting here. The film has actually already wrapped filming. I feel like so much of this film has just been kept under wraps and it's so surprising to me that it's already wrapped filming. But I hope that means we'll be getting this adaptation in 2023. I'll keep you guys updated once we land on a firm release date. And finally today, we have some casting news for the upcoming adaptation for Percy Jackson, which I feel like at this point we're all just kind of like, give it to us, please, give me the adaptation. I mean, work hard on it, make it perfection, obviously, but also hand over the series. Lin-Manuel Miranda will be joining the cast. I think a lot of us were caught off guard by this specific casting news. I was like, hello, Lin-Manuel Miranda and Percy Jackson? Okay. This one's for the musical kids out there. We also have a lot more casting news, so hold on to your britches. We've got Adam Copeland. Suzanne Cryer, Jessica Parker Kennedy, Jay Duplis, and Timothy Omunson. That's a lot of the new casting news that we have for this upcoming adaptation. I feel like things are finally coming together and 2023 will be the year that we are, well I hope it's the year. We don't have a firm year as to when we're getting this adaptation but I feel like it's gotta be 2023 right? Like we have a full-on teaser trailer that was perfection so I just feel like it's coming next year. Please. I need it. That's all the epic adaptation news I have for you for the month of November. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let us know all your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Are you excited for the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes? What are your thoughts on the upcoming adaptation for I Wish You All the Best? And how excited are you for the Percy Jackson adaptation? I need to know all your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next month with another episode of Epic Adaptations.